I got an order on Fiverr for $120 and here I show you my entire workflow from start to finish. This step is very straightforward but actually is one of the most important ones because you need to understand the requirements of your client in order to see if you're gonna accept the order or not. So the game is called Dunked, he sent me all the details, it is a hyper casual mobile game where you have to get the ball in the rim just like basketball. Now this first order is just the prototype, we'll then start another order for the final product which will have around 50 levels. The game will include ramps, spikes, levels with more than one rim and also there are gonna be levels where the screen goes dark, you will see what I mean later on. Also, I forgot to include win between those elements. In between those 50 levels, there will be different type of levels for each element. And of course, there should be a variation where the elements work together. Each level will be able to give up to three stars. The players will be able to use those stars as currency to purchase skins or use real money. And lastly, I will integrate ads. So yeah, these are most of the requirements. The first thing I do when I create a United project is change the background color for whatever color I'm just tired of it. I also create all the basic folders I know I'm gonna need to keep the project clean. So now we can start adding the basketball and I also add all the basic scripts I know I'm gonna use later on such as game manager, level manager, main menu, settings, etc. And now starting with the actual development I'm gonna start with the drag and shoot mechanic which is when you place your finger in the screen and drag and there's like an arrow coming from the ball you know. I actually think you all know what that is. Well, I'm not gonna show you the entire script, but um, after a lot of trial and error, I finally got something to work, as you can see here, but it is far from finished. I'm still missing the gravity effect in the line renderer. I also start working in the rim and also like making sure the ball can actually go through it. And then I start working in the placeholder art, and I say placeholder because it's gonna provide the art. If you're selling games on Fiverr from scratch just like me, something I highly recommend you is actually not offering the art. Ask the client to provide the art so you can just integrate it into the game because having to make the art makes the process so much more complex and uh, yeah. So in this case, as I said before, he's gonna provide the art but I am simply just making a, a prototype art to see how it will look everything put together. So before sending him the first draft, I also made the spikes, the ramps and also the level design and then I went to the game manager to make sure that the target FPS in mobile is actually 60. So this first level has a few of the levels I mentioned earlier with some of the elements. I'm still missing the dark screen and also the wind, but yeah. Now I know what you're thinking and that's exactly what the client said and it's also what I realized right after sending him the first draft and is that the bow is way too floaty. So fortunately it is a very simple fix. I simply needed to add more gravity. So I fixed that and also added a dashed circle around the bow and then I sent him the first draft again and this is the result. So it's a lot better now. Well then I started working on the multiple rims. So right now how it works is when you get the bow in the rim you go to the next level automatically. So how it should be is instead of going automatically to the next level, it should add one point when you get the ball in the rim. So if there are let's say three rims and you get the ball through the three rims, you'll get three points. And if the amount of points equal the amount of rims, then you go to the next level. So after making the necessary changes, this is how it works. This is 100% the hardest level by the way. And now it's time to work in the dark screen. So this one was very simple, I simply added a panel in the canvas over everything and made it dark. So now we have 10 days remaining, still a lot of time. I made a to-do list with everything I've done and everything I'm missing still. We also have a Trello board shared. Trello is a platform that allows you to manage projects with other people, etc. So here we have all the tasks that we are currently working on and everything we need to do, etc. So long story short, we made a lot of changes, we talked a lot, we discussed different things. I checked most of the boxes in the to-do list. He sent me the art that the designer made for him and I integrated it in the game. And after everything was ready, I finally delivered the order on Fiverr. He accepted it. Now we agreed that we were going to start a new order for $200 where I'm gonna design all the levels and also integrate ads and in-app purchases. I will not make a video on that because it would be more of the same, but you will be able to play the game once it's live in Google Play. But for now, this is the final result.
I don't know if you realize, but I don't usually show my face in my videos, but I want to kind of change the dynamic. So let me know what you think in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.